the Ministry of Health has decided to suspend some inland and abroad travels, purchase of cars and other non-priority areas to facilitate salaries for the new medical personnel. Surely as a doctor I would collapse. If I saw somebody procuring a car when 14 mothers are dying in this country just because there is no health worker. According to the new health minister, Christine Ondoa, out of the required 5,000 medical workers, about 100 and 500 doctors, and 3,900 midwives are going to be recruited. Specifically to enhance reproductive health interventions. And then about 150 uh, medical uh, workers who will be posted to health center threes and health center fours. Remember, we want to reduce maternal mortality. We also want to reduce child mortality. But according to the Uganda Medical Workers Union, new recruitment in the health sector will not help. You may train these people in one, one year. You find that the medical officers have already left their stations, run to Rwanda, Sudan, and other neighboring countries. So the ministry should direct its efforts on retaining the health workers who are in the service. Despite that, MPs on the Social Services Committee, who have been for a long time been pushing for the recruitment of more medical personnel in both rural and urban health centers, are happy with the ministry's position. Our main problem is that we continue to lose a total of 16 mothers per day. But the way they staff is not enough. You find like one nurse catering for 200 patients. That's why we say that at this time they should also recruit more health workers in order to cater for the patients in the hospital. To get rid of unqualified health workers in the country, the new minister is also going to set up a workforce to embark on the validation exercise. To establish whether the, the staff that we have on paper actually are on ground. Number two, it will also help us the, whether the staff we have on ground are actually properly and legitimately qualified. Minister Ondoa has already reallocated some money from within the sector to increase health workers' salaries and the proposal is already before the committee awaiting approval of the public service ministry. With such cooperation, the lawmakers are happy that the new minister has the zeal to clean the health sector, which they describe as sick. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.